Hola, finiqueros. Oh, is this going to be in English or Spanish? Hello, Jedis. So today we're going to talk about uh, Last Jedi, the new Star Wars installation film. I I'm really glad that, you know, new generations are going to be able to experience this new trilogy instead of just getting on to the, the prequels, which, you know, we all refer as the terrible three, not all of us, just me. So the movie looks incredible. Um, it is an understatement because obviously it's gonna look like fucking legit, right? You have ILM working on the film. Uh, of course, technology has advanced. It's pretty amazing. Like visually, if you hate anything uh, within the plot of the movie, if anything, it looks pretty awesome, which makes it so much more um, entertaining and digestible. Ryan Johnson, who I'm a fan of like since Brick and one of my top 10 movies of all time, uh, Brothers Bloom, he knows what he wants and he knows how to convey that visually. The action sequences are like fucking amazing. Ryan Johnson created uh, this new universe for Star Wars where the fighting sequences, for example, when you have like, you know, wide shots of uh, Jedi's and synths and you know other bad motherfuckers are great. It's almost like you're watching anime uh, in Star Wars. For Star Wars lovers, this is just gonna be an orgasm and you're gonna jizz all over your popcorn. I mean, if you're a girl, you might squirt. I don't know. The balance that uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Johnson creates between um, you know drama, humor, and action, it's pretty awesome. It, it, it seems like they divide it like equally how much you know uh, tearjerker scenes you're gonna have and how much you know you're gonna laugh your ass off and then how much you're gonna be you know uh, excited for getting you know watching shit blown up in the sky. Character development you have pretty pretty solid and pitch perfect uh, performances uh, from Mark Hamill as uh, Luke Skywalker to Adam Driver's Kylo Ren uh, to um, what's this girl Ridley Daisy 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 Ridley uh, to Adam Driver's um, Hey Bella so from Daisy Ridley Daisy Ridley's uh, Ray which is like superior I think that it's pretty badass that the um, Last Jedi uh, will be a, a, a girl or not, we don't know because you have to watch it. Also, you have like Harry Fisher who is like, I, I saw everybody in the theater were like, <laughs> like they were moqueando because like, of course she died. <laughs> it was something like heartfelt to watch her act as or perform as, as Leia who is beloved, you know, for everyone and it's, you know, pretty much every dude's sexual fantasy, I guess. I'm not sexualizing her, but damn, in Return of the Jedi. Technical difficulties, that shit just went away. You have awesome, uh, not cameo appearances, but you know, performances by Laura Dern. Yoda makes an appearance, uh, ba basically to smack some sense out of uh, fucking uh, Luke Skywalker, who still, to this day, Still, he's a fucking whiner. Luke Skywalker is pretty legit. He's one of mo the most beloved characters ever, but come on. Like, he's been whining since New Hope. And now he's like, I'm gonna go to the island. I'm not gonna be a Jedi no more. I'm gonna block the force. That means that he didn't learn shit from Yoda. That's why he has to come back. Learn, yes, he not. I don't want people to confuse that it's like, it's terrible because this Jedi is a, is a whiner. No, it works perfectly, but at the same time, I would have liked to see some evolution from uh, Luke Skywalker. Then we have Benicio del Toro, which, dude, <laughs> he's fucking legit in the few scenes that he's in. You also have like amazing um, performances by John Boyega, uh, Lupita Nyong'o is in there. I don't know how to say her name. No? Okay, I guess we're gonna edit that. Then we have the triangle between Rey, Kylo, and Skywalker. You you see the inner conflicts between them and that makes it more, uh, I guess, human in a sense. 
another uh, performance that I forgot to mention was Andy Serkis. Is a guy who did the Smeagol. Smeagol. It's pretty awesome because he's completely CGI'd again and he uh, performs as Snoke. Oscar Isaac, I forgot about Oscar Isaac. He's Poe in the movie and he's pretty legit still. Although there's one little scene where he does something to uh, his little pet robot where he goes down and like he pets it as if, it, if, if the robot would go It was kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know if that would happen and I don't know if I'm being like too like oh that doesn't happen in real life. Robots don't have feelings. Unless you're Sophia. Watch out for her. She's gonna kill us all. Another thing that it was that I thought it was pretty great is Williams John Williams' score. He references his own work, but it's not as forced like in The Force Awakens, which is the previous uh, Star Wars uh, movie. There's one part where where he's and it's very brief where he's like referencing to a scene. Uh, or the theme between Han Solo and Leia, which is it is pretty awesome, and I and I really hope that you pay attention and check it out where they place that uh, that little snippet of Han Solo and Princess Leia's uh, theme, because it's pretty awesome, and it, it, it kind of like it took me back to the to the moment where where Han Solo gets you know chopped off by his kin. Okay, Bella. I'm gonna just put you somewhere else because you're like annoying. Mm. Pull the string! Kylo Ren, he's still a little bitch. Like in, in, in the previous one, in The Force Awakens, where he grabs his lightsaber and starts like fucking destroying the control room and he starts like fucking destroying something because he gets a tantrum. It's the same thing. You're gonna have the same thing and now he's gonna be, I guess, a little bit more powerful. So his tantrums are gonna get messier. He's basically like a toddler with a fucking machine gun. <laughs> At the same time, you see his internal conflict and how he he does want to give in to this, like to the to the temptation, I guess, going back and and and, and fulfilling his um, uh, everything that you know his parents and the whole fucking cosmos put on him to become a Jedi. But you know, he he obviously doesn't. Rey is pretty amazing. The choices that they made of her being kind of the lead and in, in carrying this this uh, responsibility of you know renewing the force and bring, bringing back the the hope that the rebels and the resistance needs all in all is a great film um, kids are gonna love it because they have like characters that you know are lovable chewy is back yeah. it's really entertaining um, I really liked it I know that a lot of people are gonna like it. Um, I do know also that there's gonna be a lot of haters. I, I was hating it for two days and I was like, why the fuck is like one, Luke Skywalker is such a little whiner. Why is uh, Kylo Ren also having all these tantrums? I mean, these people have like the power of the universe flowing through them. Why the fuck would they be like, Another thing that it was that weirded me out is that they mention is the first I think, and you know you can put it on the comments and hate me for it, but and call me an ignorant. But uh, I think that this is the first movie where they mention the Jedi as a religion instead of as an order. Like before, it was the Order of the Jedi, but now it's called a religion, which. I don't know why they made that choice and it will be interesting to understand it and to see why because I fucking hate religion and don't put it in my fucking movies or my food or my music or anything. I think that's about all the hating that I have for that movie. Go watch it. Watch it two times actually. Um, and if you don't like it the first time and then you hate it, then don't watch it and just save that money for like, I don't know, a drink or condoms um, or milk for your baby. I don't know. So, finiqueros, read La Finiquera. If you hate my review, write it down, it's fine. I'm cool with it. I'll hate on you too. Let us know if you like this kind of content and uh, if you don't, just tell people that you hate it, even, 
because maybe somebody of the people that you told that you hate it will like it and we'll thank you for that. Who am I? Who am I? I'm Ayo Sin Planeta and I write content for uh, La Finiquera as well as uh, do other things for them. They don't pay me. <laughs>